balance of right and left brain context. Um, you know, people ask me, well, what is that balance like? Is it 50-50? I just, I, 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 do get these, I get these kinds of questions all the time. Yes, it's 50-50. Um, I don't know what the formula is. I don't know what that balancing point is from one person to the next. So again, this is a, an area where you get to play an incredibly valuable role. Are you going to be the person that's going to create that equilibrium in that, in that person's life and in their business? Are you going to help them find the balance that's right for them? What about the spiritual impact on people? Uh, well, some people are more spiritual than others. That shouldn't come as any big uh, surprise to anybody. Uh, but I find that um, if you, as an advisor, are disconnected from the spiritual aspect of this work, then you are going, going to be robbing yourself of some meaningful fulfillment in your work. To me, I think everything is spiritual, and maybe I uh, am a little bit uh, crazy and absolute about that, but I just see everything as spiritual. Um, even though most people don't want to look at it that way. So, um, you know, how much talking do you do about the spiritual if you're with people who don't really want to talk about it? I mean, that's another balancing point. Sometimes you just have to be quiet and let things kind of uh, play out. How many of you are familiar with the word equanimity? Anybody? A couple of people. It comes from uh, Buddhism, apparently, and so I spend another couple of hours researching equanimity and watching... Um, Buddhist monks give dissertations on equanimity. Uh, the way I would translate that into uh, English is uh, how do you get into the flow? And if you look at it, one of the, the Buddhist monks described it as um, if the car has all these moving parts and moving gears, equanimity is the oil that lubricates everything and allows it to flow freely and doesn't do damage. Um, some describe it as the ability to be calm when there's chaos going on around you. Uh, but I think uh, uh, another way of looking at it is just being in the flow of knowing when to be quiet and when to speak up and when to be passive and when to be assertive and being in the flow. The same is true when you're looking uh, at uh, doing this type of consulting in, in the private equity markets or working with uh, clients who have large concentrations of publicly traded stock. And um, it's about discovering what is the flow that's right, what is the timing, what is the speed, how does all of that work. There's a certain amount of influence that you can exert in order to uh, move the flow along, but if you, if you don't balance it right, you end up messing everything up. Does that make sense to you? I, I, I've never really discussed this uh, publicly before. It's my first attempt at explaining equanimity, but I look at it as being in the flow. It's, uh, if you're driving a car, down Interstate 5 in Central California, you've got two lanes in each direction. The center lane is uh, the passing lane, and you'll have trucks in the right lane. And for certain, what you'll encounter if you're going from Sacramento or San Francisco down to the Los Angeles area, there's a certainty that you'll experience this. You'll experience two people sitting in a car, chit-chatting in the passing lane, just behind a truck that is in the right lane. And there will be a line of cars for about 20 miles that cannot get through. There's no space to pass in between the front of the chit chatters and the rear of the truck. And these people will just sit there. And when you finally get a chance to glimpse them, the only way you can do it is come up on the right and illegally pass them from the right. There will be cars flashing their brights and honking their horns. But these are two people who, who are absolutely engaged in equanimity. They're in their little world, in their little conversation, but they're in micro-equanimity, and all the rest of the drivers are operating in a more macro-equanimity. <laughs>